Hello. This video is about a nice clean decimation. Okay. And for what? This is an example here. Um, these are two meshes. One, they look equal, but the meshes are complete different. The right one is a low poly mesh and the left one is a high poly mesh. But they look in the rendering the same. And yes, for what is for what decimation? Yes, um, the lower the poly count, um, yes, um, the more uh, you can use your RAM um, for multiple objects or more objects. And the second thing is um, you can um, make your projects much smaller. Um, in in this uh, case, um, I demonstrated now. I subdivide the mesh, and I save this high poly mesh. And you see here at the side now we have about two hundred megabyte of file size, and when I delete the mesh and save it again, we have only 1.2 megabyte, about 200 times uh, less storage consumption for the same object. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's a lot. And yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, what's my subdivision? Okay. Okay, but I start with a new scene. Um, okay, and the the workflow for a nice decimation is yeah <laughs> let's let's do it I subdivide it again you can sculpt with high poly count very high poly count it's no problem okay let's trim here the the mesh a little bit This is not nice at the moment. Sometimes, ah, my settings. I forget when I, I restart the app that the settings go here. Uh, screen space boolean, uh, whole smoothing nothing and detail is okay. Um, okay, let's trim here the holes. It's something like this. And I split the mesh. This is only an example. And now I remesh it and remesh with a very high poly count and you can keep sharp edges for this um, thing it's for demonstrating and now we have sharp harsh sharp uh, really sharp edges 
Um, and when I now decimate the whole thing, here preserve painting zero and uniform faces also zero and decimate it now. One step back. And it looks ugly, not a nice result. And when smooth shading is off here in the display settings, um, yeah, you see every triangle and you don't like it, I think. Okay, let's go back to the start. This is the starting point. Sorry, I have to delete this one. You need a, a new brush tool. Select the smooth tool and in the smooth tool you can change here the fall off to a flat fall off and the stroke type to grab dynamic radius. And also you can change here um, the, the pressure radius and so to flat and press on the brush tool and save or clone it and rename it as round all. So, and what this brush does is when you brush on the mesh here, only swipe from the center of the mesh outside, it creates um, a nice small round edge on every edge of the object. And I go a step back now. Here you see the, the sharp edges. Sorry. And this is with a round all. And in real life, no object has a, a edge like this. In real life, the edges look like this. And the next thing is such surfaces as, as this. Use the normal smooth tool. I have to reset it. And, and smooth, smooth your surfaces. I will use a little bit of bigger brush. I think now it's better, a little bit. And also here the insides uh, of the trimming. And the higher the, the resolution of the mesh is when you trim it, the better results. Okay, and now let's decimate it again. I turn on the wireframe. And you see here, when it decimates, it decimates the edges with more, yeah, there are more polygons at the edges. And now let's see, we have now a poly count of Um, 7000 and it looks okay and remember smooth shading is on um, yeah okay
And as I said, uh, it creates edges like this when you round the edges. And let's go back a few steps to the starting point. Here, here we started. And we can try with a with a new remesh and a more vertices remesh. I hope Nomad don't crashes. And now let's use the round all brush and brush one time, two time. And now we have very small round edges. And now let's start the decimation. decimation. step back and I think 12,000 vertices and we have a very nice mesh and it looks like this. I think it's okay and post-processing you, you get a result like this. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.